April 30th. That's the deadline for Talus Canada to have the Metro line running properly or face serious consequences. So what exactly are they trying to do? And what's the issue? It all comes down to the downtown LRT tunnel. At some point while they were planning the Metro line, somebody decided it was best to have the new line and the old line overlap in the tunnel. That means trains have to go from running every five minutes through the tunnel to every 2.5 minutes. Five minutes is doable with the old technology. Trains simply obey the trackside lights. 2.5 minutes needs new technology. It's called moving block. Each train uses a radio signal to tell a computer exactly where it is. Once this is working properly, it means the metro line can slip in between the trains on the existing capital line. Now that's been done before. It's basically what Vancouver does with the SkyTrain, but that's one line running above grade, basically back and forth. Here, we're starting with trains coming off the old system. They need to get recognized by the computer on the fly before they can enter the tunnel. And then, if they're heading down to the metro line, they're going to stay on that new high-tech system and also go across streets at grade. How's it going? We don't know. Every update since December has been in private at Council. When Talis Canada first applied to do this contract, they said they could have the signals running properly for September 2013. That was nearly five years ago, and now Council is saying enough is enough. But we'll see what happens next.